hello everyone uh, sorry uh, in the previous session there was some technical glitch but it has been solved and the video of dr khyati full session is available on youtube channel so now let's move on on the our second uh, academic session uh, by dr vicky mao and she belongs to hong kong and uh, she serves on the kti education committee with a particular interest in the cutaneous mechanism of kinesiotaping she received her bachelor of science in physiotherapy in 1997 and master of science in 2009 from the hong kong polytechnic university after assisting in outreach activities in kinesiotaping since 2013 she became a certified kinesiotaping instructor in 2017 vicky is chief physiotherapist at the private orella physiotherapy center in hong kong and she is going to uh take the lecture on the topic current kinesio research on menstrual pain and other cases over to you vicky dr vicky thank you hi my name is vicky mo i'm from hong kong today i would like to present a pilot study with a topic on kinesio taping for menstrual pain hope you will like it so menstrual pain is defined as the pain suffered from female during the menstruation its location is over the lower abdominal area concentrated in the super pubic area and it may re radiate to the low back and the upper thigh when you look at the uterus anatomy you can find that the uterus composed of three layers of wall the outermost layer sorry, is the perimetrium it consists of series layer of uh, visceral peritoneum the middle layer is the myometrium which consists of uh, smooth muscle and it is the contraction of this layer myometrium which cause the muscle cramping during our menstruation the innermost layer is the endometrium and it is an inner endothelial layer and it is a functional layer it will be thickened and slotted out during the menstrual menstrual cycle there are two types of um, menstrual pain and the other name for menstrual menstrual pain is dysmenorrhea there are two types of dysmenorrhea one is primary and the other one is secondary primary that means there are pure menstrual pain without any underlying pathologies secondary means there are underlying pathologies which cause the menstrual pain for example endometriosis endometriosis is the um, a painful disorder in which there are tissue similar to our endometrium but it lies outside the uterus endometriosis is usually um, formed by backflow of our menstrual blood and it is um, a cause of um, infertility in female another secondary this manner this menorrhea is caused by uterine fibers, which is the benign tumor inside the uterus. The third one is the endomyosis. It is the um, um, condition in which the inner line of the uterus, that is the endometrium, break through into our myometrium. The fourth one is pelvic inflammatory disease. The fifth one is intra uh, uterine contraceptive de devices and also uh, some uterine malignancy so in this pilot study our kinesio taping only treat primary dysmenorrhea but not secondary so um, our uterus is usually located behind our, u our urinary bladder and in front of the sigmoid colon so what happened during our menstrual cycle each month our endometrium builds up in the preparation of pregnancy if we are not pregnant after the ovulation the egg is not fertilized by the sperm and the, the um, current line of the uterus is no longer lidded and therefore the woman's estrogen and progesterone level will decline and the lining of the uterus will become swollen and eventually shade out of the vagina as a menstrual flow and the lining will be replaced by a new one during the next monthly cycle so what happened um, when the uterine line breaks down 
there is a molecular compound, which is a hormone-like uh, chemical called postglandulins, will be released, and it will cause the myometrium to contract, which is the smooth muscle, right? The contraction of the myometrium will cause the constriction of the endometrium. And this will block the delivery of oxygen to the endometrium, and it will, in turn, break down and die. After the death of the endometrium, the uterine contraction will squeeze the old endometrial tissue through the cervix and out of the body in the way of the vagina. And the contraction of the myometrium, if it is a very severe one, will cause um, menstrual pain. The difference between menstrual cramps um, that are more painful and that with are less painful are related to women's postglandular level. You may have a question. Can we measure and quantify the menstrual pain? Um, the answer is yes. The measurement is by an intrauteral pressure prop. There are two internal props connected to a, a pressure transducer, and it will be placed in the fundus of the uterus. And three parameters will be measured. One is the uh, actual pressure of the contraction. The other one is the frequency of the contraction, and the third one will be the uh, duration of the contraction. When we look, take a look at this uh, table, you will find that a woman with normal menstrual cycle, the uterus contraction is only 50 to 80 mmHg. But women with dysmenorrhea, it may exceed 400 mmHg, which is five to eight times for a normal woman. So the frequency of contraction, you can see that a woman with dysmenorrhea is one per 15 seconds. But a normal woman will be one to four per 10 seconds. And um, this one is 10 to 40 times more than uh, the normal woman. The duration of contraction for a woman with uh, menstrual pain, it lasts for 90 seconds for one contraction. And the woman with normal menstrual uh, cycle only lasts for 15 to 30 seconds, which is three to four uh, times. When we add up all the components, you will find that a woman with dysmenorrhea, his, uh, her suffering, the contraction, the frequency of contraction, and the duration of contraction add up a total of 18 to 52 times more than a normal woman. So, men audience, please be good to your wife or your girlfriend when they are having a menstrual pain because their vagina, their uterus are doing a very vigorous exercise inside her body. So it is very normal for her to be physically exhausted, emotionally ups uh, upset or um, uh, very irritated. So be pleasant to your wife. So. When does menstrual pain happen? It will usually happen um, within four hours after the onset of bleeding, and it will subside one or two days later. So for the traditional weight of menstrual pain, um, women usually consume um, methods like they will take uh, over-the-counter medication, or they will take bed rest, or they will take traditional um, relief like hot packs and um, uh, hot tea and so on. So. Today, I would like to introduce a, a brand new method to you, which is kinesio tape. Now, take a look at this uh, taping method. There are two tapes all together. Um, I am using classic tape in, the, in this demonstration. And this is, um, the anchor is over the central part of the superpubic area. And um, the direction of the tape is towards your pelvis and the tape tension is 50%. This is the direction of tape application. So why does it work? When we took a look at the uterine, uterine contraction during menstruation, you can see that um, the contraction of the myometrium is longitudinal to the uterus, therefore in this direction. And the myometrium is uh, consisted of smooth, uh, smooth muscle. So in the uh, peak of the contraction, you can see that uh, the uterus will be contracted and shortened in order to have enough force to squeeze 
the unused endometrium out of our body. So the tape application is in this way and the direction of recoil is towards the center. That means if the contraction of the uterus is longitudinal, the recoil of the kinesio tape is horizontal. Remember this uh, table? For the woman with that dysmenorrhea, the contraction pressure of the uterus may exceed 400 mm mercury, which is a very large force, which can cause severe menstrual cramp. And therefore, the kinesio tape should offer a weak oil force large enough to counteract this 400 mm mercury horizontally so as to relax the uterus and relieve the menstrual cramp. So how does kinesio work? Just as I said, contraction of the uterus is longitudinal. Recoil of kinesio tape is horizontal and therefore it is large enough to co counteract the uterus contraction yet large enough to squeeze the endometrial tissue through the cervix. So in our pilot study, there are some recruitment criteria. The woman should be uh, aged between 12 to 50, suffering from moderate to severe menstrual pain every month. They have to be severe enough to absent from school or from work. And they have to take drugs in order to kill the menstrual pain and um, we only treat primary dysmenorrhea only. So this is the pre-taping questionnaire. It consists of um, four pages, and there are a series of um, questions, like how to describe the severity and quantify your uh, pain level from uh, zero to 10, and um, how many years have you suffered from uh, 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 menstrual pain, and um, is it consistent with the uh, the pain level is consistent with the uh, emotional upset and um, will you need to take uh, bad rest or absenteeism from your work or school? Do you need to take drugs? Um, what kind of drugs have you taken? Over-the-counter drugs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or uh, morphine-like uh, type of drugs or the drugs are prescribed by your doctor or any other treatment like heart pack, exercise and so on. And uh, the last question is um, asking the participant, are you willing to um, use method other than a traditional way to treat your menstrual pain? And are you willing to um, introduce it to your friend? So the post-taping questionnaire is the follow-up of the pre-taping menstruation. and. Um, there is one question asking how long did the tape uh, take to reduce the menstrual pain significantly? Uh, the choice is from zero minute to um, 120 minutes. And um, is the pain effective to reduce the emotional upset consistent with the pain? Uh, do you need to take drugs anymore after the taping? Do you need to uh, rest on the bed? after the taping or are you uh, still need to absent from work or from school? So for the um, real recruitment of participants, there are 14 volunteers come into contact with me. Um, however, there are two of them are suffering from secondary dysmenorrhea. One is not absent from work and the other one, uh, her pain scale is only five out of 10. Therefore, four of them are excluded. At the end of the day, there are only 10 participants in this uh, pilot studies. The average age of the women are 39, and the average pain scale and emotional upset are 8 out of 10. And the average time for their bed rest is 7 to 9 hours for each menstrual cycle. And the average absenteeism is 2 to 4 days per year. And commonly, they are taking paracetamol 500 milligram uh, to 1,000 uh, milligram TDS uh, or NSAID like Ponston uh, or Botran BD 
for uh, each menstrual cycle. And uh, the effectiveness of the drug is they can reduce their pain scale averagely from 8 to 3.5 after taking the drugs. For other methods like heart pack, exercise, and Chinese medicine, their pain scale are relieved averagely from 8 to 5. And all of them do not know kinesotape before this pilot study. So after the taping, we can take a look at the result. It was quite amazing and um, encouraging and promising. So all of the 10 participants have a very significant reduction of the menstrual pain. And the average scale is from 8 to 2. And the emotional upset is consistent with the pain. That means uh, the emotional upset is also went down from 8 to 2. There are no need for them to take any kind of drugs after the taping. And there are no need for them to take any absenteeism, uh, as sick leave from their work and school. And they are not necessary to take any bad rest after the taping. Also, the average time for the kinesio tape to work effectively is 31 to 60 minutes. That, that means half an hour to an hour. So after the taping, um, the pilot study, they are willing to use kinesio tape for menstrual pain in the future instead of taking the over-the-counter drugs or a hot pack and the Chinese herb and so on. And uh, all of them are willing to recommend kinesio tape to their female friends in the future in order to cure their menstrual pain. And they said they should have known kinesio tape much earlier so that they can suffer less from the menstrual pain. So there are some interesting um, extra information from the result. There are two candidates with um, a change of the menstrual flow after uh, the taping. Candidate one report that there is increase in the volume of blood flow after the taping, but her pain scale went down from eight to three. Another candidate, which is candidate three, reported that there is decrease in the blood flow after the taping, with her pain scale went down from eight to zero. So let's come to the part of discussion. So um, menstrual pain is very common among the uh, women with reproductive ages. And it caused absenteeism from school and work. And uh, most of the women were treated with over-the-counter medication or bad rest. Absenteeism from work and uh, school caused by the pain, caused economic loss and physical suffering of the women. Kinesio taping can be introduced to the world for a new form of non-invasive and non-drug taking method to treat the menstrual pain. Kinesio tape is not expensive and it is very user friendly. The taping technique, the application is not difficult to learn and the application is very convenient. Kinesio tape is hypoallergic and it is not irrit irritable to our skin and it can be left on our body for two to three days with one application. It does not cause any stomach disturbance which can be caused by the NSAID and the over-the-counter medication. And kinesio tape is effective to treat menstrual pain. So patients with large body build will wonder if the tape, tape tension can be higher so that uh, the residual two points of pain, which is from 0.8 to 0.2, uh, the pain scale but not to zero, can be also be settled. The answer is no, because for, for the property of kinesio tape, any tape tension higher than 50%, there is no recoil, and it becomes a rigid tape. Therefore, the tape tension has to be uh, just 50% or lower. Therefore, in order to tackle that problem uh, with larger body build, a uh, tape, instead of 5 cm wide, you can use a 7 cm wide in order to have a larger area of taping. Or if you do not have any 7 cm wide kinesio tape, you can use two 5 cm tape in order to make it as a 10 cm uh, wide tape in order to cover the large body build. Now here, I have used the fingerprint for the demonstration, but in actual uh, demonstration, I will use the classic tape in order to uh, 
apply for high tension technique. Fingerprint usually is used for uh, uh, overactive muscle correction and EDF application, which is um, less and low uh, high uh, low tension application. So back to our result, there are two candidates with a uh, change in blood flow. There are some hypotheses by me. Now, candidate three, since that is the pain scale is uh, went down from eight to zero, her blood flow decreased. Since she can fully relax the uterus after the kinesio taping, that means the endometrium can be pushed effectively by kinesio. And that means that he, her uterus um, can have less contraction. And therefore, her pain scale went from 8 to 0. And therefore, since the uterus have less contraction and the blood flow decreased, and it is consistent with the um, pain scale uh, trend. So candidate 1, her pe blood scale uh, her pain scale went from down from 8 to 3 with increase in blood uh, flow. That means he, her uterus cannot be fully relaxed even by the uh, application of the kinesio tape. Therefore, her uterus contract together with the kinesio taping recoil in order to push the endometrium out of the body together. Therefore, there are two force happening in the uterus. And this accounts for the increase in blood flow. Now, we have talked about postaglanglin, right? It is the uh, hormone-like substance which stimulates the contraction of the myometrium during our menstruation. The level of postaglanglin determines the level of um, uterus contraction. And the amount of uterus contraction determines the amount of blood flow. If kinesio is able to con alter the volume of the blood, that means kinesio can, may be able to alter the level of postaglanglin. Endometriosis is uh, possibly formed by backflow of blood, the visual grade. If kinesio is able to alter the volume of the blood flow, that means it may be able to prevent the formation of endometriosis and it may help to prevent the infertility of women here. Conclusion. So this is only a pilot study and the sample size is small. There are only 10 women recruited in this study. Therefore, if um, we're going to have a, a, a formal study, we, we should have a large sample size. Second, um, we should have a, a randomized controlled trial. So a control group should be included in the study in order to make it more objective. Therefore, the degree of uterus contraction with and without kinesio taping should be included. Third, um, the recoil of the kinesio taping it now is not uh, recorded quantitatively. We only ask the uh, female if they have any improvement in the menstrual pain subjectively. If the recoil of the kinesio taping can be measured in terms of mercury or Pascal, it can be made uh, more objective for the whole pilot study. Last but not least, the actual volume of the blood flow with and without kinesio can be carried out with um, weighing the napkin, the female napkin, uh, the net napkin and the napkin with menstrual blood so that we can uh, deduct it and to get the net uh, weight of the menstrual flow in order to measure the actual increase in blood volume and decrease in blood volume for the candidate with the change of the blood flow to make it more quantitative and objective. So that's it. Here, now we, are, we will um, have a demonstration on the actual uh, kinesio tapping on a uh, uh, model. So let's move on to the model. Now we will take a look at the demonstration of the real application of the kinesio tapping. Now assume this spot is the belly button of our body. Um, the tape will apply four inches below the belly button so that it is on top of the uh, middle part of our uterus. Now usually we will use um, two 
plastic tape instead of fingerprint in order to entertain the high ap uh, tension application. For uh, a normal, a woman with normal uh, ordinary body build like me, f uh, two tapes with four blocks is enough. If you have a larger body build, you, you have to extend it a little bit accordingly, right? So we should run up, run the edges first. And we have to apply it. The anchor and the end is zero tension. Uh, the middle part, the therapeutic part is 50% tension. Now, in order to start the therapeutic part right in the middle of the uterus, you have, we have to start the anchor beyond the midline of our body. That is a little bit beyond the midline. All right? And then we apply 50% tension here. But before that, if you have some fatty tissue over your abdominal, you should lift it up. Lift up the fatty tissue. Apply 50% tension. And then towards the pelvic bone with zero tension. Now here, should be the mid midline. And here is the full part of the anchor. So another tape on top of the first tape. So here is the midline. We will start beyond the midline, which is here. And the anchor. So here is 50% tension. And we try to lift up tissue or abdominal and we end towards the pelvic bone with zero tension. And therefore, at the end of the day, the direction of recoil is towards the center. Remember, because um, the contraction of the uterus for women with dysmenorrhea is over 400 mm mercury, therefore, we use two tapes in order to have a very uh, significant effect of recoil instead of one single tape, like a space correction with the anchor here and here. Uh, it is not enough to counteract the 400 mm mercury. Something to remind you, since the application of classic tape with sand tension is somewhat uh, irritable to your skin. So before this application, it is better for you to have some preparation of the skin in order to make it um, not irritable. For example, you can apply some skin tap in order to have a protective layer on the skin or some fast absorbing horse oil in order to make um, your skin more um, with more moisture so that the taping can be last longer on your skin and make it more effective and efficient. So that's it for today's demonstration and presentation. Hope you will like it. Um, hope to see you in the future. Bye. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vicky. Thank you for watching my video and presentation. Do you have any questions? I I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, doc, there is one question by Dr. Pooja Digra. Uh, she is asking, uh, is in your slide, you mentioned if kinesio can alter volume of blood flow, kinesio mm -hmm. can alter of prostate gland. Is there article supporting this? That is first question of her. Um, no, it is only my hypothesis. It is a very... Um, Stunning and uh, new uh, discovery. Only uh, I'm only hypothesizing this uh, to my audience because uh, I cannot explain why uh, the blood flow can be changed. Um, it is one of the possibilities that uh, the level of prostaglandin is uh, being changed during the uh, menstruation. Um, we can do more research in order to prove. The hypothesis, but it is not proven yet, and there is um, no paper for this uh, to support this hypothesis. Okay, another question she is asking: What parameter here, according to pain, can adjust? 
I'm sorry, can you repeat your question? Uh, what parameter here, accor uh, according to pain, can adjust? Means uh, the pain can be adjusted on what parameter? Here. Uh, um, you mean the questionnaire or your, you mean the application? Uh, she has not clear, but uh, doc, uh, it would be great if you can explain in the both ways. Okay. Um, for the application, um, for my demonstration, I uh, uh, demonstrate that you have to lift up the fatty tissue and then uh, tape, uh, apply the tape. Uh, so one more additional information. Actually, uh, there are uh, several layers of abdominal muscle uh, in front of the wrist. If you want to have a better uh, effect of the uh, taping, you can actually ask the patient to contract a little bit on the abdominal muscle. And together with the lifting of the uh, fatty tissue before you tape, and to make sure that the taping effect is deep enough to penetrate into the uterus and, uh, and to go over several layers of abdominal muscles. That is um, some very important supplementary information to the taping application. Okay, another question is uh, Raul Diaz. She has asked, what is the cream you put no skin? Uh, sorry? Uh, uh, actually, I also even un don't understand the question. It is she is asking about some cream. Which cream you have put uh, under no skin? <laughs> um, um, <laughs> I think um, it is a non-invasive um, method to tackle the menstrual pain. Right? Traditionally, we usually take um, over-the-counter drugs, paracetamol, NSAID, and so on. Uh, or hot pad exercise. So this is a brand new method for you to um, consider when you are suffering from menstrual pain. So uh, the only drawback of this application is uh, the challenge of your skin. So that is why I remind you to put a, a skin pad or uh, pre-tape before uh, using the tape. Okay. Uh, another question is Namrata Mehta. Uh, she is asking which questionnaire you have used for assessment sorry the uh, which questionnaire you have used for assessment could you please name it oh no the questionnaire is uh, made by me every individual question is uh, tailor-made in order to uh, ask into the details of their uh, menstrual pain suffering so it is not a pre uh, modeled questionnaire it is tailor-made uh, by me in this uh, research okay uh, the previous question which, which we were uh, asking about by dr D uh, puja uh, she has asked about the according to pain so she has explained further she is asking uh, every woman has a different kind of pain right so uh, because of some associated disease or uh, not a gynecological disease so how can you differentiate that pain and ho how the result will be uh, when when we apply the kinesio taping actually this is a good question so i have to make sure that they are suffering from primary dysmenorrhea instead of secondary dysmenorrhea before i go ahead for the typing right so if i have any suspicion that uh, her pain is not a pure uh, primary dysmenorrhea i will reject her and refer her to the uh, medical practitioner the ong uh, doctor uh, only if i am sure that uh, through my subjective assessment and objective assessment, uh, can I uh, be 90% sure that she's suffering from primary dysmenorrhea? Uh, for example, I have to take a look at his, um, her medical history um, or to do some uh, palpation over her uterus. Uh, if I, am, I think I am not capable of uh, diagnosing her, uh, then I will re reject her and refer her to the doctor. Okay, uh, doc, that's all for the uh, question answer session. But one, once again, Dr. Pooja has given one suggestion that uh, can we do the study collaborate with ultrasonically study. So, uh, she, uh, she has given just a suggestion. So, she is asking can we get it from you in the later future. Uh, sure. 
so so that's all for the question answer session if other if someone want to ask the question they can put the question in the comment section and dr mm -hmm. vicky will uh, later on reply to your questions thank you dr sure. vicky for your time and the wonderful presentation over oh, wait wait dr vicky uh, there one more question by sayanti mm -hmm. chatterji if hmm. we put oil if we put oil then it will be oily i it might affect the taping while sticking how to take care of that yes um uh, actually it is advised by kinesio that before we take we do not uh, put any oil on our skin because it will affect the adhesiveness of the taping therefore there are only um several kinds of uh uh free tape which is uh, advisable for example this is the um, uh, this is the uh horse oil but it is not uh wet because it is very uh fast absorbing it will become dry uh, within 20 seconds so it is uh suitable to be the free tape but for oil it will be too oily to be the free tape so uh not all oil or cream or uh, substance are uh, suitable for the pre-tape. So only the skin pep uh, or the horse oil or some of the fast absorbing cream are suitable for the pre-tape. So I will not advise uh, her to, to, to apply oil before the taping. Okay, Doc, last question of the day, then rest questions will be answered on the comment. Uh, one question last, uh, Namrata has asked, uh, in PCOS, in PCOS, will it will be helpful? I'm sorry, can you repeat your question? In PCOS, will it be hel helpful? This taping is helpful in PCOS condition. Um, <laughs> uh, I I'm not clear about your question. Can you rephrase it or uh, what is PC? PC? Yeah, uh, Doc, this is an obstructive disease. It's a PCOD, what we call is in a la local language. So. Uh, it's a gynecological disease which mostly women uh, suffers uh, so that is the thing uh, okay any anyways in the, it, it uh, I, I can frame this question in a different way uh, whether this tape will be helpful in increasing the blood flow while uh, doing for while while in menstrual uh, thing or or it will it be helpful in amenorrhea or uh, this kind of conditions if we put the tape well, actually, you have to take, uh, you have to consult your ONG doctor uh, to see if it is good uh, for the patient to use kinesio tape to in, in order to control the blood flow uh, during the menstruation. Um, the, this application that can be possible to control the blood flow, but we have to do, know what exactly is underlying, uh, what happened, what what is actually happening underlying the uh, uterus. So it is better for the therapist, for the instructor to uh, have a good consultation with the doctor concerned uh, in order to know if it is suitable for her to use this tapping for the blood flow control. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Vicky, for, for your wonderful presentation and wonderful mm -hmm. uh, uh, information you have shared with mm -hmm. us. And thank you so much for your time. Okay. Hope you like it.